Welcome to the Mama Truth Show, where soulful mamas embrace the whole truth of the messiness and magic of motherhood. Check us out at mamatruthshow.com. Here's your host, Amy Ehlers, the Wake Up Call Coach. Happy Mama Truth Monday. It's Amy Ehlers here, the Wake Up Call Coach, with another Mama Truth Show. And I'm so excited today to talk more about creation mode versus reaction mode and how important it is for us as mamas, as women, as human beings to go back to that space of creating instead of reacting. I feel so passionately about this topic because when we're in that reaction mode, that is when we are hard on ourselves. That is when we do a lot of self-blame. That is when we stop valuing and respecting ourselves. That is when we are in the throes of our inner mean girls. When we're in that creation mode, that's about us coming from love. That's about us being led by our inner wisdom. That's about us feeling empowered in our lives. And whether it's with parenting with our children or with our finances or a relationship with our co-parent or our husband or our wife, or we're looking at it through the lens of our career. It's so easy for us as human beings to go into that space of being reactive, of being in that reaction mode. And the magic happens when we step out of reaction and start going into creation. So let me explain a little bit more. I have a little story here. Um, I remember this was many years ago because Actually, my husband and I um, will be celebrating our 12-year wedding anniversary um, this month. Yeah, so it's been a while. But I remember, you know, there was so much hype about the wedding and about, um, you know, all the planning that went into having the big day and the wedding and the honeymoon and all this stuff. And I remember, you know, we took a um, Mediterranean cruise when, um, for our honeymoon. So we went and we visited Europe and it was actually at that time, hilariously enough, my husband's first time in Europe. And since then he's been back a gazillion times for music and so on and so forth. But it was his first time in Europe and we had this incredible honeymoon on the Mediterranean sea. And every morning we'd wake up and we'd be in a different port in a different country. And it was just incredible. It was so magical. I feel so blessed that we got that time together. And I remember sitting, I remember this so vividly as if it were yesterday. It was the last day of the cruise and I was sitting with my journal and I was starting to feel all of this anxiety creeping into my body. I could feel the tightness in my chest. I was there at this beautiful city with all this gorgeous water and all this stuff. And there I was like freaking out and stressing out about what was going to happen when I got home. And I could feel, it was like, I felt like the walls were shutting down on me as a woman and as a human being, because I was going back to work and I was going back to um, stress and the everyday and the grind of the everyday life. And I remember sitting there and I was like, oh my God, I feel so miserable. I don't want to go back. I just want to stay on vacation and honeymoon forever. And all of a sudden my inner wisdom like swooped in and was like, what do you want to create as you go back? And I was like, what? Like, what are you talking about inner wisdom? Like, what, what do you mean create when I go back? Like, what are you talking about? And it was like, oh, right. This is my life. And I actually get to create what I want. I get to actually create as much as I can co-create definitely with the universe but I get to really go into that creation mode and start designing my life as a married woman. And so my darling one, I ask you, what is it that you want to create in your life at this point? You know, we're just over the halfway mark here in 2016. We have this rest of the year ahead of us. We have the rest of our lives ahead of us. And it's so easy to go into that reaction mode. It's so easy to just say, okay, this is what's happening right now. I'm reacting to it. I'm reacting to it, reacting to it. And it takes us going into that space of pause, going into that space of stillness and quiet and really tuning into ourselves and saying, well, what do I want now? What do I want to create now in my life? And at any moment we can have that fresh start. We can say, all right, clean slate. 
clean slate, if I were to design my life from this moment forth, what would look differently? What do I want to design? And coming from that place as if you're like an artist standing there at this beautiful, fresh canvas with a fresh paint set. And it's like, what's the first stroke that you want to put on the canvas, darling? What is it for you? So you may want to actually pause the Mama Truth show for a moment to really sink into that. Do some journaling about that and really look at, okay, what is it that I truly want to create in my life right now? And I know there are certain things in our life that are going to happen. Loss is going to happen. Our kids are going to have things that come up for them. Our partners and husbands and wives are going to have things that come up for them. I get it. I know we're not in charge of every little tiny thing that happens. I don't believe that anyway. I believe that it is a co-creative thing. I believe that we're consciously creating what we know in our consciousness and that our subconscious is creating things. And then the world and the collective consciousness is creating things. And then our soul is creating things. Like, I get it. It's not like this one-to-one, you know, law of attraction oversimplification. That's not what I'm talking about here. But what I am talking about is that we do get to design it. And so um, we can design as much as we can design. We can decide to have that sense of empowerment about our lives and take the time to really step out of being in the day-to-day of our lives and to work on our lives. I talk about that a lot when you're an entrepreneur, when you're a business owner, it's like, stop working in your business and work on your business. Like we need those times when we're not just working in our business, answering the emails and recording the mom of truth shows and doing those things. We also need those times where we're getting that big picture view and we're going up to that, you know, 360 degree view and looking at our business and figuring out what are the different revenue streams? What is the strategy here? What are all these things, right? We need that time in our businesses to do that. But guess what? We also need that time in our lives, right? We need that time with our parenting. I mean, this is why I'm so excited about the Mama Truth Hawaii retreat, which I have a couple spaces left. If you're interested, you can check it out at mamatruthretreat.com. But it's like, that's what we're going to be doing there is we're going to step out of the day-to-day of our lives as moms, as women. We're going to really look at okay, let's get back in touch with who we really are. Let's get back in touch with our voice. Let's get back in touch with our essence. And let's really work on our lives and on our mothering. Whether our kids are 47 or seven months old, it doesn't matter. We have an opportunity to actually step out of that day-to-day of mothering and look at who do I want to be as a mom? Who do I want to be as a woman? Who do I want to be as a human being? And then design our life the best that we can so that we can become who we're here to become. And so that's what I mean when I say getting out of that reactive mode. Okay, so let's do a little exercise, shall we? So I want you to go ahead and think about your life right now. And if you can, if it's safe to do so, you know, if you can take out a piece of paper and I want you to actually take out a fresh, clean piece of paper. And I want you to really design for a moment. Just let yourself dream. Just put away all of the realities of your life for a moment. Let's go into that dreaming space. Forget the how, you know, sometimes when I'm teaching workshops, you know, I I learned this um, when I was getting trained as a, as a bigger game coach. It's so great. If you just put the word how with like a circle and a cross, So it's like the how can stay out of it. I don't care about the how right now. I don't care about how you're going to actually do it. I just want to know the what. What is it like if you could design what your daily life would look like, what would it look like? You wake up in the morning. Does the alarm clock wake you up? Do your children wake you up? Do you have this beautiful chime that wakes you up? Does your body wake you up? Like what would wake up look like? What would your morning look like? And go ahead and design the dream day in your life. What would that look like? You know, I remember I did this exercise years ago. I mean, it must have been like 15 years ago. And in that dream life, I, um, at that time, I was really dreaming about becoming a coach. I wasn't a coach. Um, I was starting coach, but I was still working a day job. And I didn't have any children yet, and I wasn't married yet. But in that 
I was actually with Rob at that time, my now husband, but I remember I wrote out a day in the life of Amy, like the dream day in the life. And it was all about like being waken up by my children in the morning that had yet to exist at that time. And then we would do a family snuggle and then Rob and I were married in this dream life and we would wake up and do this family snuggle and get some beautiful morning time together. And then I would go and I would coach a few clients and then I would go for a walk and get some exercise in. And then maybe I would go and have lunch with a friend or what have you. And I kid you not, years after I wrote that, I came across it in my journal and I was living it. I was living my dream life. And so up-level it, darling. Up-level, what is that dream day like for you now? And dream, let yourself dream. And I don't mean like fantasy where it's like, and then I go into my private jet that I got from winning the lottery. I'm not talking about like that level of fantasy where it just feels like you're, it's ridiculous. I'm talking about dreaming about the grounded dream of where you would love that daily life to be. And you might not be that far off from it. It might just be like, oh, I realized I really need to amp up. This is one of the things that I realized um, this summer, earlier this summer was, you know, amping up my daily practice, amping up my morning practice, really important to me. I could see and feel that I really needed to set the tone for the day in a better way. You know, does that make sense? So it's like, it might just be a little nugget that you get from this exercise, or it might be like, oh my God, I'm in the wrong job. I'm in the wrong relationship. Who knows? Who knows what it is, but just let yourself dream and keep the how out of it and go into that creation place. And once you have that dream, once you know the what, then you can start backtracking it and reverse engineering it. It's like, okay, if in a year timeframe by next summer, by summer 2017, if this is my daily life, if this is my dream life, let's look at how I could start creating that with little bold baby steps. It's really remarkable what can happen. And this is this is why I love exercises like doing vision boards. Then you can do like the, the, you know, the dream day in the life of what your life is like. And then you can even do a vision board and cut things out of magazines and just go intuitively. You can make a painting around this. Go into that right brain space. You can make a little box. Um, I always like to get those pencil boxes on some of the retreats that I lead. And, you know, we'll get these pencil boxes and then we'll collage them and create them and just let our right brains get in there. You know, allow that to take over. Allow yourself to look at what, what are the colors? What are the smells? What are the textures? You know, really get into that space for yourself. This can be so fun to live a life by design. Live your designer life. Why not? So it's Amy Ehlers. Thank you so much for listening to today's Mama Truth Show. As always, I love hearing from you. Cruise on over to the Mama Truth Circle Facebook group. If you're not a member yet, you can just go to mamatruthcircle.com. And would love to hear what you've learned from today's show. So as always, I'm reminding you to embrace the messiness and the magic of motherhood. Amy Ehlers signing off. Thanks for listening, mamas. Did you know that Amy has a new ebook out? It's called Sacred Self-Care for Moms. Seven steps to nurturing yourself so you can be the mom you were born to be. And you can receive your free copy by going to sacredselfcarebook.com. That's sacredselfcarebook.com. And please don't keep the Mama Truth Show a secret. The biggest compliment you can give is to share the Mama Truth Show with your loved ones and write a review on iTunes. Until next time, keep embracing the messiness and the magic of motherhood. <laughs>